Kurds love to dance and Kurds are more united in dancing than any other thing because we, keep, we hold hand while dancing. But the, there are many Kurdish dancers, more than uh, 15 style. From city to city it changes, but most of the Kurds, they know all of it. And uh, it's the joy of unity and it's, it's a very old tradition, it goes back a few thousand years ago. Kurds originally in many parts of the homeland, they're not allowed to celebrate their culture freely. And uh, so the Kurdish community in Australia, because they are allowed to celebrate their culture, so they wear traditional clothes, they eat traditional food in the Kurdish New Year Day, they use Kurdish flags, they dance Kurdish culture, Kurdish music. It's like a Kurdish day for them to celebrate and they try to do the best to dress Kurdish and be Kurdish as much as they can. Ah, the atmosphere is fantastic. There's been dancing, there's been a lot of different types of food, um, a lot of people in the traditional dress. Um, really good atmosphere. A lot of, lot of music, it's been great. Uh, the department's having a stall here today to give information to people about the new migration laws um, and basically to encourage people to migrate to Australia the right way and, and not come by boat. If somebody's passed away in the community, especially in tragics like the boat arrivals, the, what happened uh, last year, with the Christmas Island. It affects the whole community. It's, it's not just the one family because the community, they're passionate. They feel sorry for what happened. Somebody lost the father or the mother, so it affects the community. The key message is to tell your friends and family overseas to come to Australia the right way and don't risk being sorry.